With the massive wave of conference realignment that is coming to college football in the 2024 season, we have 13 teams that will be joining new conferences next year, and I think only three teams can realistically compete for their conference. Now, this isn't going to be like a normal video where I wait to the end to tell you guys what the three teams are. I think only Oregon, Utah, and Texas can compete for their conference championship next year, and here's why. Let's first start with Utah because I think the Big 12 conference realignment gets lost when we talk about the Big 10 and the SEC, but but Utah has a great chance to win the Big 12 and go to the college football playoff next year. Utah has everything they need to succeed in year one in the new Big 12. They have the most experienced and probably the best quarterback in the Big 12 in Cam Rising, an instant top three coach with Kyle Whittingham in that Utah Ute program, and a schedule that is set up to succeed for them. Their toughest games are going to be Oklahoma State and at Colorado, but I do think besides that, this is looking very favorable for them. Also, quick disclaimer, this is not going to be the order of the games that Utah plays next year. The Big 12 has yet to announce their full 2024 schedule. However, these are the teams that they will be playing. Let's jump over to Oregon now in the Big 10. I think looking at this schedule here, Oregon could go 8-1. Their three hardest games include Wisconsin on the road, which they should win, Michigan on the road, but Michigan is going to be in a rebuilding year, and Ohio State at home, which serves the advantage to them. I don't find it likely that they go undefeated throughout this entire schedule, which is why I think they will go 8-1, but I do think they will be in the Big Ten Championship in their first year in the Big Ten. And looking at Texas's schedule, this is set up so well for them. Red River is always going to be tough against Oklahoma, but they do have Georgia at home, which is going to be a benefit to them. I could see this Texas A&M game being a challenge for them with that game being renewed for the first time since 2011, Mike Elko's first year, and it being at Texas A&M. That could be tricky, but besides that, they should go 6-2 at worst in their new SEC schedule.